This is the Earth at night. And thanks to information technology, every human being in the world is connected to every other human being. And a more connected world is a necessary step towards a more enlightened world. Information technology to most people is this device. And inside this device, there's vastly more information processing than existed in the entire world when I started working on this technology. Well, VLSI stands for Very Large Scale Integrated Circuits. The integrated circuit is the engine which processes information. We all use information all the time. Images are information, and sounds are information, and drawings of buildings are information. But to get information from one place to another, or to figure out what to do from a drawing to make a physical object, we have to process that information. And processing information is done with the LSI circuits. And in 1959, Bob Noyce, who would later become a good friend of mine, figured out how to take one piece of silicon that used to hold one transistor and make an entire circuit with many transistors all connected together on that same piece of silicon. It was fantastic. How could you not fall in love with that kind of technology? I got hooked by Gordon Moore when he asked me, how far could it go? How many transistors? How small could you make them so you could put more and more on a piece of silicon? So I started working on that question. And it turned out, as you make transistors smaller, you put more of them on a piece of silicon, but each one takes less electrical current to run because they're smaller. And because the transistor itself is smaller, it takes the electrons less time to get through the transistor, so they're faster. Everything got better. So that meant that the problem wasn't how to make a better transistor, it was how do you make a thing that complicated, have it actually work? So the important thing was to take the concept that was in my head of what you wanted the system to do and translate that into physical form of an integrated circuit. I grew up up in the mountains and spent a lot of time just walking out along the streams and in the trees. And when I'm not quite clear about something, I'll go out for a long walk. It gradually clarifies. There's something about nature that has a unity to it. The physics and the chemistry and the biology are all in the trees and the shore. And it's all one nature. If you think about the world we're in, we're accumulating new knowledge all the time. If you take that picture literally, the only thing you could ever do is to just make everyone more and more specialized. So you learn more and more about less and less till finally you know everything about nothing. That's not where we want to go as a human race. There has to be someone thinking about what are the commonalities between all these different viewpoints? What is the essence of the learning that we're doing. When you get that, then you can see the field. You can see how everything works. This is what happened with my students in the VLSI course. They got to where they could see the whole thing, the essence of it, not all the detail. You can go back and get detail later if you have the essence, but it's hard to go the other way. As I can see the connection between work that I've done and the possibility of a device like this being developed. It's a very long trail of work by other people that linked anything I did and this device. But I'm still, every time I use this device, I have a warm feeling.
There's part of me in it. 